Well, hello everybody. Do a little video here. Got me a Fiat. A Fiat. Not the favorite car to work on. But, <coughs> sorry. The last shop decided they needed to over tighten the oil drain plug. And yet, we're going underneath. We're going to lay down here. They decided that. The oil drain plug needed to be reefed on. I have a, well, I started with a wrench and I wanted to strip right here. So I put a six point socket on it <clears throat> and I got an extension just to get me back behind this. But I should not have to put my full force. Really? Really, you're not going to stand up for me? There we go. I should not have to put my full force on a 3 8 ratchet. Everything I got and I can't, no, I cannot get the bolt to break free. Oh, that took everything I had to do that. I thought I, thought I was gonna have to cheat a wrench it. There, there's no excuse for that at all. It's an aluminum, aluminum oil pan, which means these threads right in here are easily stripped there is no excuse to have that on that tight um, if they do I will give them that they, they do self tighten sometimes um, as they heat up cool down heat up cool down that's that's what um, aluminum does so it it may have self tightened I highly doubt it I'm sure the guy put it on tight um, it there was a reputable shop it wasn't, it wasn't your uh, five dollar quick change I know where this oil change was done this is uh this is somebody I know's vehicle, so I know where the oil change was done. Um, they did not bring it to me just because I did not have time to do it the last time they had it done. I think I'm going to make a big old mess. Let me scoop my pad out. Ugh. Yep, we're doing it on the ground just because it's quick and easy. Ugh. But I do know who did the oil change last. And I will talk with them. The problem is, is the owner of the company does not do the oil changes and things anymore. So I'm not sure what tech did it. Um, I know that he is a, a hound on his tech. He pays attention like a hawk. You know, one of the best facilities in our town that did it. So you won't hear me bad mouth it at all. But it was just on there like you wouldn't believe. And yes, I'm using one of my junk pans. Uh, it was the easiest one. Uh, most of the other good ones were full and I didn't feel like emptying anything for this quick oil change. Uh, they're going to Ludington tomorrow. So we'll give a quick shakedown as well. Um, the oil filter. I know I'm spinning around on you guys fast. Trying not to, but. The oil filter itself is way up here on, in this cartridge system right up here. So we'll probably get that from the top. But we'll let this, this here drain out. These Fiats are a oh, pain in the butt on everything you do anyway. So no blame on that. We'll do a quick change on it. Uh, just figured I'd make a quick video. Now the oil filter itself. See if I can flip this thing here. It's been being a pain in the butt on flipping on me. Oh, it's going to do it again. It's not going to do it. For some reason, this just wasn't want to flip. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. It's way down here under this hose right there. Uh, easiest way to get to it is actually remove the air filter hose. And then it's right there. So that's what I'll do. And I'll get out the special tools to do it with. There's a special socket you got to have. And we'll get it done. I just figured I'd throw this little short one out. You guys saw the cleaning the shop video that I just put out. And so hopefully you'll take a peek at this one. That is a Fiat 500L. It does take synthetic oil, oddball synthetic oil, 540, which is uh, not as common. But uh, it does take a regular fil cartridge filter. So nothing major, just a quick old change and we'll we'll check it all out and the rut row
I already see a problem. Right here. Right here. Looks like there's a nail or something right there in the in the tread. So we're gonna have to see that. Gonna have to take a look at that and see what that is. But we'll shake it down front end wise. I think everything's good on this. It's a 2014, it's in good shape. So Alright, I'll catch you on the next video. I'm gonna end it right here. Hey, don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I gotta get this subscribership up. Hook me up, people. Thank you.